burning up. Please, more air nano. Uh, Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, the AC's broken. The handyman's on his way to fix it. Uh, huh? Nano, is he okay? Oh. Nano circuits are overheating. He needs a recharge. Wow, even my eyes are hot. How is that even possible? Uh. Uh, not so close to me, Obeyed. Your body heats too much. I finished my invention. This'll help keep us cool. Is that a blender? Yes, we can make yummy icy smoothies. It's not exactly a blender. Although it seems like one, it's actually a cryo accelerator. A cryo make what? Never mind, guys. It's better if I show you. I just need to get some ice. Hmm. <laughs> ah, I love sweet cold grass. The cryo accelerator is a sort of miniature fission reactor in reverse. Ugh, you're losing me, Mansoor. Well, usually energy is hot like the sun. Especially today. <laughs> but we can also harness cold energy. Let me further explain what I mean. If it works, the cryo accelerator will turn these simple ice cubes into a super coolant. Super cool, if it works, of course. Have faith, my friend. This weather. Is that a cryo accelerator? Yeah, I can't believe you got it right. And it works even better than I thought. Oh, it's run out of ice already. Oh, the snow's melting. It's just too hot outside. We need somewhere cooler. Well, how about the mall then? That's where we were going. Why don't you bring it along? It might be a good place to keep it. Nano! That settles it. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call super duper cool! <laughs> Obey, can I borrow your slushy for just a moment? Mm. Hold on! What are you doing? Watch! Oh, smells so cool! It tastes like raspberry! Uh, all props to you. I think your latest invention is going quite well after all, cousin. I do have my moment, Shama. <laughs> <laughs> Looky here. It's Mansoor and his nerdy friends. Yeah, super nerds for sure. And another lame invention he's made. Come on, guys. Let's have some fun, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm starving. You're always starving, Obaid. I'm just so active. I'm a growing boy with growing <laughs> muscles. I need to eat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that place over there does the best shawarma sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I live for shawarma. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You were right, Galud. These are the best shawarma sandwiches I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, what's up, nerds? And nerdettes, <laughs> what it do? Hi, Tarek. Can't you find someone else to annoy? We are kind of busy, so if you don't mind... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was just trying to be friendly, but I can see that I'm not wanted here. Oh, don't go, Tarek. We like being insulted. Oh, that hurts me. Why do you even hang out with these nerds anyway, Shama? These nerds? are my friends. Oh, uh, uh. oh, well. 
I'd love to stand around and chat all day, but I have a life to get back to. Later. I'm so uh, sick of Tarek uh, and his uh, goons. Uh, oh, come on, forget about Tarek. Here, I got us a cup of ice. Nice. We can have some more cryo fun. The cryo accelerator is gone. Huh? What? Oh, where is it? Oh. Oh. Tarek must have taken it. Mm. Nano, locate Tarek. We have to find them. They could cause a lot of trouble with the cryo accelerator. We'll split up. I'll go with Kalu downstairs, and we'll check out the entire floor below us while you guys go search this entire floor. Got it. We'll meet back at the fountain. Got it. I finally turned it on. Now we just need something to put in it. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> hey, these nerd toys can be fun. Okay, it's time to go, guys. That little tin pot spy will tell them where we are. Come on. Where are those guys? Look, here comes Nano. What's wrong with him? Ew, he's jammed up with this weird pink gunk. <laughs> it's cotton candy. I have located Tarek. I knew it. Nano, which way? Follow me. Come on, time to get my machine back. Got it. Tarek, give me back my machine. Why mm. don't you come and get it from me then, Mansoor? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> no! Look good. under control before the mall is destroyed. Look! Tarek's running away! I won't let him. I think I know how to stop them. Just need to do a little modification on the cryo accelerator. Obey! When I say go, you start the fountain. Go! Gotcha! <laughs> That'll cool him off. <laughs> there must be some way of reversing the polarity and using it to heat up the ice. Or we could just use a giant heater. Shama, do you have one handy? Yep, right up there. Of course, the sun! All we need to do is open the doors and let Mother Nature go to work. Cut Got it! it. <laughs> Thanks for your help. We'll deal with these ruffians. <laughs> Hope you don't get a brave reason there, Tark. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it tastes like yummy, sweet mango with the refreshing hint of goon. <laughs> ah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> You're really something obeyed.
Hello, boys. Hello. Oh, wow. I like your painting. Thank you, Obeyed. Yeah, it's totally brilliant. Mom's work has been picked to be shown in an art gallery in the city tomorrow. Wow, we. I invited a famous art critic, so I gotta finish this one. If you'd like to paint, too, everything you need's in the kitchen. Yes, please. Thanks so much, Mom. That would be awesome. <laughs> I've always wanted to. Hmm. What shall we paint? Um... I know. What? Shoot! Each other. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Finished! Yeah, me too. All done. Okay, so on the count of three, we all turn them around. One, and two, three, and turn. Huh? What? Hold on. That doesn't look anything Come like on. me. You blind or something? Uh, what what is your this no, up? Boys, what's Alexander going on? Like he looks nothing like me. Paintings don't have to be the exact representation. It's up to what the artist sees and feels, how they interpret it. These all have good qualities. They do? Yes. Mansoor, you have a gift with colors. Solemn, you have used light very well. And Obeyed, your style is unique and bold. Well done. Now will you boys please be quiet so I can finish my painting, you know, for my show? Whoa! Wow, fantastic. Look at this, look at this. This is all looking sensational. There's an article in here from the mm -hmm. art critic. He says he's coming uh, to your show tonight. Uh, that's right, he's actually coming. He'll be here later today. Everything must be perfect. Relax, relax. Everything is gonna be okay. Look around, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, mm? Huh? My bad. Don't worry, Miriam. The boys will clean that up. Let's get you home so you can change for tonight. Mm -hmm. Hurry, hurry. Clean that up already. Who eats cake in a place like this? It was an accident. I'll clean it up now. Don't worry. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Are obeyed. You can use this to clean it in no time. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Salem. Relax. This will get the floor really clean. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> away now for a moment i really thought we were going to crash into your mom's painting that would have been a disaster right <laughs> <laughs> I guess 
guess we'll just have to repaint it. I mean, guys, what other choice do we have? Um... Okay, hear me out. All of us are good at painting, aren't we? Your mom said so herself, Mansoor. We can do this. Okay, let's each do our part. Well done, boys. You did a good job. Actually, a great job. I was really worried. You can't imagine the stress I'm under, but it looks perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Mom, uh, there's something, uh, something I need to tell you. What is it, my dear? There she is, the world-famous artist. <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Is everything all right, boys? Uh, yeah, the thank you. Sure, thank you. Uh, Mom, we really, really need to tell you something very important. Yes, sorry, Mansoor. So, what's up? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but... What he's trying to say is, um, is that, uh... Well, what it is, um, what happened was, uh, well, uh, the thing is, um, what? Uh, it's the art critic. I'll speak to you later. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What is underneath this curtain? It's my latest work, the centerpiece of the show. Mm -hmm. Please, won't you show me? I love the childish playful strokes. It's unique, original, and very brave. An absolute triumph. <laughs> Thank you. I've been very influenced by my 12-year-old son and his friends. Yeah, you have. It is full of useful energy and childish innocence. Thanks. Well done. I look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. Uh-huh. I don't know whether to scold you or hug you. Sorry, Mom. It was an accident. We tried to tell you. Mm, well, you three pulled this off somehow. It turned out just fine, and the critic liked it. We could also repaint some more stuff if you'd like us to. No, no, thank you. Actually, I think you three should be in this photo, too. Come on, bring it in.
too close? Are we there yet? Yes, we're almost there, Obeyed. Don't worry, I'm using my new sat-nav. Mansoor, there's a new reptile exhibition at the zoo, and they have an anaconda that's 20 feet long. I know, and I can't wait to see it. In 50 meters, turn right. Hmm. This doesn't feel right. Mansoor, huh? look at the sky. Huh? What's that? Huh? What's this? Where are we? Where's the city? Mm. What does this mean? It means uh. I need a new sat nav. Ah! Oh, the windshield needs a little cleaning. That's a good idea, Mansoor. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like the snake's not giving up and it's gaining on us. Faster, Grandpa! Hold on, boys. This is going to get bumpy. <laughs> Obey, make sure to keep your seatbelt fastened. What's going on? What? We're flying? You're never going to believe this. Look there. I'm not really enjoying this new zoo experience. It's way too interactive. You know, I don't think this is the zoo. Salem, look. Oh, no! I'm not sure I want to find out what the main course is. You think it's a snake or us? I'll hit the horn. No, wait. What if he drops us? Oh, right. Ah! 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 Looks like we're safe now. I don't like this. That egg over there is moving. There's something in there. <laughs> Just a wild guess here, Obeyed. But it's probably a bird. Baby birds are hungry when they first hatch, aren't they? We have to get out of this nest! It's too heavy. We're falling. Hold on to something, boys. <laughs> what now? Huh, Grandpa? We have to put some distance between us and that giant bird. He might come back here. This place looks old. This place looks really old. Mansoor, what kind of place is this? I think the question we should be asking is, when exactly are we? Wait, what do you mean? Well, I think we just came through a time portal. We're out of gas. Maybe they have some. Hmm, let's hope the people are friendlier than the animals around here. What is that? Is that a steel chariot with no horses? Amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we're a little lost. We were looking for the zoo when we... when we... You're looking for the zoo? I've never heard of a zoo before. Grandpa, uh, I really don't think zoos have been invented in this period. Where are you from? Well, it's a very long story, but we could really use your help. Sure. Nazar al Tuzi will know what to do. That's right, that's right. He's the cleverest man in all of Arabia. And chief scientist to the Sultan himself. Follow me. Mm, I can't think of a better idea. All right, lead the way, please. Oh, hello, Abdul. How may I be of service? These strangers arrived a short while ago and need help. I'm in the middle of a rather delicate experiment right now. The inn can host them. Plenty of food and lodgings. If you'll excuse me. Please wait! What? I don't understand. Who are you? I am Mansoor, and we have come from the future. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Please, make yourselves at home. Well, I suppose I should have realized this might happen someday, but I guess I never expected it to actually work. What do you mean? This. It's taken me almost 10 years to construct it. It's time. We can measure it, however, we cannot ever change it. Time flows into the future, just as a river flows to the sea. Yet we can divert water. We can change its course, even pump it back uphill. I have been working on a special project. I have invented a way to manipulate time with the device you see here. Is that a time pump? That's right! This machine functions by pulling the future toward the present until they meet up. 
And you were working on the machine today, correct? That's right. And I fear I may have brought you here. I aimed my machine out there, out to the empty desert, trying to avoid such a thing. But in the future, the town is much bigger. It's a city, a very large city. Ah, of course. Yes, I didn't consider town expansion. Okay, so then can you just zap us back to the future? Sorry, I'm afraid not. <laughs> the machine stopped working in the middle of my experiment. I have been unable to fix it. Does that mean we're trapped here? <gasps> it's the vortex! It's still in the sky! Do you have a spyglass? It's our city! I can see it! Huh? Your machine created this vortex in the sky, an opening into the future. Looks like we'll have to go back through it. Mansoor, look, it's shrinking. There's not a second to lose. If we don't go back to the vortex now, we might be trapped here forever. The future must be an incredible place. You move around without horses, you say? That's right. But it does need fuel to function. And that won't be invented for another 300 years, more or less. Fuel? But we have lots of fuel for you. Thank you so much. But we actually require a very different kind of fuel to drive. And Sor, maybe we can walk back through. What do you think? No, I don't think there's enough time. We need something faster. <laughs> <laughs> It's the rock! Run for your lives! What do we do now? Remember, the rock brought us here. Maybe it could take us back. I think it's worth a try. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Ready? Ready! It's coming back! Here it comes! I wish you good luck, my little friend. Thank you! I wish we had more time to get to share ideas, Nasser. We must be satisfied with the little time we got, Mansoor. <laughs> I sure learned my lesson, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> to lead the rock directly to the vortex. Nano, it's up to you. Get us home. Yes, will do, Benzo. to get some fuel. Just wait here by the car. Sure thing, Grandpa. It's still only 11 o'clock. It's like we never even left. That means we still have plenty of time to go to the zoo. Uh-uh, no way. I've had enough of giant snakes for one day. Uh, how about some ice cream instead? <laughs> <laughs>
awesome! These panther drones are the coolest thing ever. And look how fast they can fly. Those drones are amazing, uh, but uh, Nano is going to be just as fast with his new <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. All right, let's check it out. First, let's find out how fast those drones fly. The website says it can reach up to 60 miles per hour. Okay, now let's see if Nano can beat that speed. Okay, Nano. Ready, set, huh? <gasps> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a panther drone. <laughs> Actually, this one is your panther drone. Hello there, Mansoor. Well, I got you this limited edition model on my uh -huh. trip. Thank you, Father. Have lots of fun. This is Obey, this is Salem, and this is Nano. Greetings, Obey. Salem and Nano. Now we can find out if Nano is faster than a panther drone. Okay, why not? You can both race to the park and back. I am looking forward to the race. I am as well. Ready? Get set and go! <laughs> How about we race around that tree and then head back? All right, good idea. You're very fast. So are you, especially for a piece of junk. Here they come. like you used up all your battery in that race, Nano. There is something very wrong with the Panther drone. It cheated. Come on, don't be a sore loser, Nano. It's faulty. Something's wrong. It pushed me into the tree. Uh -huh. It must have just been an accident, Nano. Go and recharge for a while. I'll see you later. I really enjoyed our race, Nano. <laughs> I can't believe Nano accused the panther drone of cheating. Hmm, I know. It isn't like Nano at all. So what should we do now? <gasps> Can you show me around your wonderful city today? We'd better wait for Nano to recharge. But that will take time. And there's a lot for me to see around the city. Let's go for a stroll. Hmm, okay. <laughs> So this is the port, and that is the ocean. I huh? like it. What's it doing? <laughs> Why did you do that? What's going on? No idea. Let's follow him quickly. Lie down for a while. Stop interfering with my fun! Ah, a breaking news story about panther drones. Breaking uh, news, panther drones go on a rampage. It says the manufacturer recalls all panther drones immediately. So it is faulty. We need to shut it down. But how? Hmm, I got it. There's only one person who can help us now. Who? The one who knew the truth about the panther drone since the beginning, but we didn't believe him. Nano, can you hear me? I can. Hi, Mansoor. You were right, Nano. The panther drone is evil. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Not a problem, Mansoor. Are you fully charged yet? I am at 92%. That's enough. We need you to shut down the panther drone. I'll do that. On it. <laughs> Oh, 
Chips just in case. No! <laughs> ah. I also have the power of the sun now. Now it's time to finish you off. <laughs> What's happening? No! What just happened? It's the chip. Nano's upgraded microchip filled his system with solar power, but the other chip did the exact opposite and drained the panther drone of his power. Oh, that was so clever of you. Thank you so much, Nano. Thank you for saving the day. You are the greatest robot I could ask for. And I thank you, Mansoor, for the wonderful solar power upgrade. You're the greatest human ever. <laughs> <laughs>
Ugh, I'm burning up. Please, more air nano. Uh, Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, the AC's broken. The handyman's on his way to fix it. Uh, huh? Nano, is he okay? Oh. Nano circuits are overheating. He needs a recharge. Wow, even my eyes are hot. How is that even possible? Uh. Uh, not so close to me, Obeyed. Your body heats too much. I finished my invention. This will help keep us cool. Is that a blender? Yes, we can make yummy icy smoothies. It's not exactly a blender. Although it seems like one, it's actually a cryo accelerator. A cryo make what? Never mind, guys. It's better if I show you. I just need to get some ice. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 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 I love sweet cold grass. The cryo accelerator is a sort of miniature fission reactor in reverse. Ugh. You're losing me, Mansoor. Well, usually energy is hot like the sun. Especially today. Whew. But we can also harness cold energy. Let me further explain what I mean. If it works, the cryo accelerator will turn these simple ice cubes into a super coolant. Super cool, if it works, of course. Have faith, my friend. This weather. Is that a cryo accelerator? Yeah, I can't believe you got it right. And it works even better than I thought. Oh, it's run out of ice already. Oh, the snow's melting. It's just too hot outside. We need somewhere cooler. Well, how about the mall then? That's where we were going. Why don't you bring it along? It might be a good place to keep it. Nano! That settles it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call super duper cool. <laughs> Obey, can I borrow your slushy for just a moment? Mm. Hold on. What are you doing? Watch. Purple snow is so cool. It tastes like raspberry. Uh, all props to you. I think your latest invention is going quite well after all, cousin. I do have my moment, Shama. <laughs> <laughs> Looky here. It's Mansoor and his nerdy friends. Yeah, super nerds for sure. And another lame invention he's made. Come on, guys. Let's have some fun if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm starving. You're always starving, Obaid. I'm just so active. I'm a growing boy with growing <laughs> muscles. I need to eat, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that place over there does the best shawarma sandwiches. Mm -hmm. I live for shawarma. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You were right, Galud. These are the best shawarma sandwiches I've ever had. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, what's up, nerds? And nerdettes, <laughs> what it do? Hi, Tarek. Can't you find someone else to annoy? We are kind of busy, so if you don't mind... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was just trying to be friendly, but I can see that I'm not wanted here. Oh, don't go, Tarek. We like being insulted. Oh, that hurts me. Why do you even hang out with these nerds anyway, Shama? These nerds are my friends. 
Oh, well. I'd love to stand around and chat all day, but I have a life to get back to. Later. I'm so uh, sick of Tarek and his uh, goons. Uh, mm, come on, forget about Tarek. Here, I got us a cup of ice. Nice. We can have mm -hmm. some more cryo fun. The cryo accelerator is gone. Huh? What? Uh, oh, where is it? Uh, oh. Tarek must have taken it. Mm, Nano, locate Tarek. We have to find them. They could cause a lot of trouble with the cryo accelerator. We'll split up. I'll go with Kalu downstairs, and we'll check out the entire floor below us while you guys go search this entire floor. Got it. We'll meet back at the fountain. Hmm. 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 Got it. I finally turned it on. Now we just need something to put in it. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> hey, these nerd toys can be fun. Okay, it's time to go, guys. That little tin pot spy will tell them where we are. Come on. Where are those guys? Look, here comes Nano. What's wrong with him? Ew, he's jammed up with this weird pink gunk. <laughs> it's cotton candy. I have located Tarek. I knew it. Nano, which way? Follow me. Come on, time to get my machine back. Got it. Tarek, give me back my machine. Why Ooh. don't you come and get it from me then, Mansoor? <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 Whoa! This does not look good! But we've got to get my machine under control before the mall is destroyed. <laughs> Look! Tarek's running away! I won't let him. I think I know how to stop them. Just need to do a little modification on the cryo accelerator. Obey! When I say go, you start the fountain. Go! Gotcha. <laughs> That'll cool him off. <laughs> there must be some way of reversing the polarity and using it to heat up the ice. Or we could just use a giant heater. Shama, do you have one handy? Yep, right up there. Of course, the sun! All we need to do is open the doors and let Mother Nature go to work. Got, Got it! it. <laughs> Thanks for your help. We'll deal with these ruffians. <laughs> Hope you don't get a brain freeze in there, Tark. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it tastes like yummy, sweet mango with the refreshing hint of goon. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> You're really something obeyed.
Hello, boys. Hello. Oh, wow. I like your painting. Thank you, Obeyed. Yeah, it's totally brilliant. Mom's work has been picked to be shown in an art gallery in the city tomorrow. Wow, we! I invited a famous art critic, so I gotta finish this one. If you'd like to paint too, everything you need's in the kitchen. Yes, please. Thanks so much, Mom. That would be awesome. I've always wanted to. Hmm. What shall we paint? Um. I know. What? Shoot! Each other. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Finished. Yeah, me too. All done. Okay, so on the count of three, we all turn them around. One, and two, three, and turn. Huh? What? Hold on. That doesn't look anything like me. You blind or something? Uh, what what you smash the no, look at that. Boys, what's going on? Like he looks nothing like me. Paintings don't have to be the exact representation. It's up to what the artist sees and feels, how they interpret it. These all have good qualities. They do? Yes. Mansoor, you have a gift with colors. Solemn, you have used light very well. And Obeyed, your style is unique and bold. Well done. Now will you boys please be quiet so I can finish my painting, you know, for my show? Whoa! Wow, fantastic. Look at this, look at this. This is all looking sensational. There's an article in here from the mm -hmm. art critic. He says he's coming uh, to your show tonight. Uh, that's right, he's actually coming. He'll be here later today. Everything must be perfect. Relax, relax. Everything is gonna be okay. Look around, it's absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, mm? Huh? <laughs> Oops, my bad. Don't worry, Miriam. The boys will clean that up. Let's get you home so you can change for tonight. Mm -hmm. Hurry, hurry. Clean that up already. Who eats cake in a place like this? It was an accident. I'll clean it up now. Don't worry. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Are obeyed. You can use this to clean it in no time. I'm not sure if that's a good idea, Salem. Relax. This will get the floor really clean. What could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> a close one. Too close. Let's put this machine away now. For a moment, I really thought we were going to crash into your mom's painting. That would have been a disaster, right? Just have to.
to repaint it. I mean, guys, what other choice do we have? Um... Okay, hear me out. All of us are good at painting, aren't we? Your mom said so herself, Mansoor. We can do this. Okay, let's each do our part. Well done, boys. You did a good job. Actually, a great job. I was really worried. You can't imagine the stress I'm under, but it looks perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Mom, uh, there's something, uh, something I need to tell you. What is it, my dear? There she is, the world-famous artist. <laughs> we'll talk later, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate it, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Is everything all right, boys? Uh, yeah, the thank you. Sure, thank you. Uh, Mom, we really, really need to tell you something very important. Yes, sorry, Mansoor. So, what's up? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but... What he's trying to say is, um, is that, uh... Well, what it is, um, what happened was, uh, well, uh, the thing is, um, what? Uh, it's the art critic. I'll speak to you later. Hmm. Mm-hmm. What is underneath this curtain? It's my latest work, the centerpiece of this show. Mm -hmm. Please, won't you show me? I love the childish playful strokes. It's unique, original, and very brave. An absolute triumph. <laughs> Thank you. I've been very influenced by my 12-year-old son and his friends. Yeah, you have. It is full of useful energy and childish innocence. Thanks. Well done. I look forward to seeing more of your work in the future. Huh? I don't know whether to scold you or hug you. Sorry, Mom. It was an accident. We tried to tell you. Mm, well, you three pulled this off somehow. It turned out just fine, and the critic liked it. We could also repaint some more stuff if you'd like us to. No, no, thank you. Actually, I think you three should be in this photo, too. Come on, bring it in.
Welcome to Scotland, home of the Loch Ness Monster. Huh? Did you say monster? Oh, yes. It lives right out there in the water, you see. Uh, it is what he's saying true? I'm not sure. Nano, tell us about the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is reported to be a prehistoric sea creature living right here. Yes, that's her. There's nothing to worry about, Obeyed. It's just a legend. Now then, who would like to go fishing? Yes, me! I'd like to! <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go fishing in monster-infested water. You know what, guys? I think I'll stay here. It's probably a bit safer. Here, take these. You can look out for the monster. This too. <laughs> Blow this if you get into any trouble. It should help you out. Thank you. Okay, you three, follow me. We'll see you later, Obeyed. Hmm. Relax, Alum. There's no monster here. <laughs> I'm relaxed, really relaxed. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> huh? Uh, Help! I'm stuck! Hello? Hello? Mm. Aha! Nothing. If you ask me, I think we'll be here all day without a bite. Calm down, guys, one at a time. Mansoor? We saw the Loch Ness Monster! And so did I! Huh? <laughs> I can explain. Look! 
<laughs> I hope you don't mind me tricking you boys. No cause for alarm. It's just a bit of fun for the tourists. I made it myself, actually. You really tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't be a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> sure you did, But I'm I did sure see did. the real thing! Honest! No, Obeid. It's just make-believe. No, no. I'm not talking about the fake one over there where you guys were. I'm talking about the real Loch Ness monster that was just over that way. Look! <laughs> That's a tree, Obeid. Yeah, the real monster was by it. I swear! And what was it like? Um... <laughs> Quite friendly, actually. That's good news. So you won't mind coming back out fishing with us? Nope. I don't mind at all. With any luck, I might catch your monster, Obeyed. Yeah, you wish. You'll need a bigger rod than that. Obeyed, can you see it? No, not at the moment. That's because <laughs> it's not real. No, it's very real. I'll prove it to you guys. Watch. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Nano, scan the water and tell us what's coming towards us. You got it, bad sir. <laughs> Huh? It's only a log. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's your monster obeyed? <laughs> a log? No. Uh, huh? Uh, ah! This is my monster. Stand back. It could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or maybe not. What's happening? Nano, what exactly is it? <laughs> It's okay. Don't be scared. It's just Nano. Unidentified and unknown species. There is nothing in my database. Oh, thank you, Nano. You, 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 you mean tell me that th that thing is the real Loch Ness monster? Yup. And I'm the one who found him. <laughs> <laughs> That looks like fun. That was amazing. <laughs> 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 Now do you believe me? I told you I saw the monster. Yes, you did, Obeyed. You did. No way! Whoa! You are not gonna believe what just happened. And you're not gonna believe what happened out there! <laughs> Catch anything? Mm. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh ho! All right then. Well, I'm sure you'll tell us when you're ready. I'm really sorry that we doubted you, Obeyed. Oh no, it's okay. At least we believe you now. But who'll believe us? 
Honestly, even I'm not sure if I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We're all spending too much time on these and missing a lot of beautiful moments. Here's what I suggest. We need to use them a little less and spend a lot more time in nature together. So we've booked a holiday to the Australian uh -huh. Outback. Care uh -huh. to join us, Obeyed and Solemn? Awesome! We all get to go to Australia? Yes, please! Thank you! When do we go? Next week, guys. When NASA goes on his college trip to London, it'll do all of us a lot of good. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> ah. Everyone, this is my good friend, Ranger Joe. Very Hello, nice Ranger to meet Joe. you. Nice We're to meet looking you. Looking forward to this. It's my pleasure. Good to have you. Welcome to Australia. I hope you will love it, because this is where you're going, the Dunga Dunga <gasps> Resort. <gasps> it's a five-star beauty. Believe me, you, it's great. You're going to love it. Does it have Wi-Fi? Does it have a nice restaurant? Of course it does. It has them all. Hey! Uh, but your dad thinks you three need a bit of rest from all of that. Your parents are going in that. And you three boys will be coming with me on those. Say what? I don't understand you. He means we're walking. We'll be walking. We gotta How long walk. will it take us to get where we're going? Um, uh, two hours. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. How long on foot? Uh, um, oh, about three days. What? Wait, three Whoa. days? Uh, three days? Yes, if you walk fast. This will be a fantastic experience for you. And I assure you that you're in good hands. Ranger Joe knows the outback. Mm. Have a nice walk out there, guys. I'll be in the pool waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, boys. This is going to be an incredible experience. If incredibly awful is what you mean. Live in the moment and get into the rhythm and feel at one with nature. Look at those beautiful surroundings, boys. So what, boys? Feeling the heat? The heat's very hot. Oh, how about a nice, refreshing swim to cool off? Guys, is he teasing us? Of course not, Obeyed. Here, look. Whoa! <laughs> Jump in, fellas. It's actually great for swimming, you know. Crocodiles? I'm sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. Crocodiles do not live in this lake, so you are quite safe. Aw, no reception. The bed isn't very comfy. I'm so hungry, you guys.
Let's go. Keep up now. Please tell us another story, Ranger Joe. Okay, guys. I've got a story for you. One day there was a boy sitting by a fire in the outback. But he didn't realize there was a great big centipede walking up on a rock behind him, you know? <laughs> the giant centipede kept crawling and crawling and got nearer and nearer. But the boy just sat there and grinned. Huh? His friends pointed huh? toward him, but he thought they were just messing around. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. Very good acting, but you're not fooling me. Unbeknownst to them, the centipede crawled up the rock, was almost on his head when the brave ranger leaned forward and snatched it up. Ah! Ah, that almost crawled <laughs> on my head. What, what a, a great, great realistic, realistic story that was. was. All right now, bedtime, my adventurers. We'll go from here and follow the river here. Then we'll take this fork. And by the afternoon, we should arrive at the resort where your Wi-Fi, soft beds, and fancy restaurants will be waiting for you. You two take this one, and we'll take this one. Got it now? It's pretty easy, and we'll get some great views. But listen up. When we get there, make sure you stay on the right-hand side. Do not take the left fork. Do you understand now? Why not? Wild Nelly. Who's Wild Nelly? It's a big and mean waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get going. some rope and pull them in. In all 
all my years of doing this, no one has ever actually gone down the left fork. You two deserve a medal. Uh, did you hear that, Solon? Hear that? We're gonna get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> what? So are we getting a medal or not? <laughs> well, boys, you're here. Finally, you got your Wi-Fi and your comfy beds and that fancy food awaits you. I think we might just stay out here a little while longer. Wi-Fi can totally wait. Yeah, who really needs comfy beds? That's right. And they probably don't even serve prickly pears. Thank you for an amazing experience, Ranger Joe. <laughs> You're very welcome, Ranger Mansoor. Just press it, and we will win the National Mathematics Cup. <laughs> oh, and how could we forget that one time you... <laughs> of course, there's that other time when... I can keep going if you want. Okay, but come on, really? Just look at where we are right now. We're in a solar and hydro-powered town where everything's connected. Everything's computerized, even the cars. Nothing can ever go wrong here. It's basically perfect. Let's just go have fun. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Hello there, boys. Hop in. Let us go for a ride. Careful with the drink. Huh. Huh? 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 My name is Wassel. I am the first of a brand new generation of smart cars. And today, I am now going to take you on a short tour of Eco Town. Huh? Whoa! Wassel! Is somebody controlling you from a command center? All the smart cars in Ecotown are connected through a central server, but every car drives itself. We're 100% automated down to our processing. You're pretty impressive. I am powered by solar energy, plus capable of driving and talking. My main interface is the control panel that is located right in front of you. It senses smoke, temperature, human touch, and smells. <laughs> it sounds like the only thing you're missing is a social media page with selfies. <laughs> I already have one. Now smile. Oh. Oh, I spill it. 
Watch, you're gonna spill it and something bad's gonna happen. We are. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Take it one car at a time. I will steal this technology and then dump a self-destruct virus into the system. It will set them back years while I profit from their hard work. <laughs> <sighs> Mansoor, what's going on? I'm trying to fix it. Fix it faster, Mansoor, or we'll slam straight into that wall. What? Huh? What? Overrule! Overrule! That was a close one. <laughs> hey, boys. Thanks, Mansoor. I'll take over the drive now. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is so much fun. It's been ages since they let me drive. <laughs> I wonder why. Obeyed, what are you drinking? What is that? Is it really good? <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah, it's my favorite. Really? It is mine too. I love strawberries. Yeah, with everything. With ice cream, with juice, yogurt, with jelly, and slushies too. Smoothies. You can't get away from me. And I will show you. Ha! So can I? What? Have a little bit. Huh? Just a little bit. Uh, oh, please. Uh, Pretty please. Mansoor? Keep him busy. I think I found the brakes. Ugh, forget the brakes. We need to get out of here. This isn't an accident. There must be someone behind this. Nano, are all of the cars operating on the same network? Yes. But they've all been hacked, right? Right. Trace the signal so we can find out where it's coming from. No problem. That's great. OK, now we know where we need to go. Figure out how to get there. What's worrying you? Yummy! I love that strawberry smoothie. What is that with it? Vanilla? Wow, wow, wow! Wow! Yeah! Wow! Hey guys, you're going to have to sample this smoothie. Ah. delectable. What I wouldn't give for another. Those strawberry smoothies are delicious food for my circuitry. I know where to get one, but we just need to do something first. 
It's not working. I'd better get out of here. No? No! No! Let me out! Let me out of here! No! 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 <laughs> Technology is for everyone. You can't steal it. Now let's go find some strawberry smoothies for Wassel. <laughs> and for everyone else. Hey, where are you boys going? To the library, for a project about ancient civilization. But we have to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, with books, not the internet. Well, good luck with that, boys. <laughs> Be careful of the librarian, all right? She's very <laughs> strict. See you later. <laughs> ah, hmm. Yes? Hello there. We're here to do some research for a school project. Do you know the library rules? No. You must always remain quiet. You have to respect the books, turn the pages gently and quietly. No phones, no running, no eating, no playing, and no talking whatsoever. <laughs> and no laughing either. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Mm. Oh. Look here. This is the book we need. Is that? Huh? Switch that phone off. No phones allowed in the library. Go outside now. I just got kicked out of the library. I need to go get another book. Yeah, me too. What's that? That man left his notes. I think that we should look through them. Shh. He's designing a weapon uh. to destroy the Earth. We have to go tell Mansoor. Uh. Huh? 
Talking. Uh, please, boys, give me that book. Oh, what's going on? We've got to get out of here right now. What? Why? Because of this here. What is that? Stop right there! There's no running in the library. <laughs> What's going on? We'll explain when we're somewhere safe. But trust us, it's an emergency. Hey, no, stop. You can't take that book out of the library. Uh, please wait! Hold, hold! That book has not been checked out yet. Why is that man chasing us? Because he wants to destroy the Earth. What are you talking about? These are his plans for a doomsday device. Give them to me! Stop! Take me back! Get back here, you kids! Stop! Stop now! machine to blow up the earth that's why we ran we have to go to the police wait a sec huh this isn't a plan for a device to destroy the world it's not then what is it it's a plan for a revolutionary device it's designed to provide solar power to the entire world oh oh so you mean he's not trying to destroy the world no obeyed he's actually trying to help it and we ran off with his plans oh what are we going to do now? Well, there's only one thing we can do. What? what? Go back to the library as quickly as we can. Uh, 
Huh? I got the book back. But do you have the professor's notes? He's a professor? Aha! Uh -huh. That makes sense. Uh, I'm afraid there was a slight confusion. Oh, we're really sorry. Will you give them back to him, please? You can do it. Here he is right now. I have your notes here, Professor. Oh, thank you. We thought you wanted to destroy the Earth, and that was the master plan. Uh-huh. That is the only reason we took mm. them at all. No, it's the opposite. These plans could provide everyone with solar power forever. So thank you. This is my life's work, after all. I don't know what I would have done without them in my hands. I just wanted to say we're really sorry for everything. <laughs> don't worry, boy. It's fine. All's well that ends well, right? I had quite the adventure. I sure broke a sweat. Hello, my dear. Hello, mother. <gasps> He's my boy. My sweet little boy. <laughs> <laughs> we never would have guessed. It isn't obvious at all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Scotland, home of the Loch Ness Monster. Huh? Did you say monster? Oh, yes. It lives right out there in the water, you see. Uh, it is what he's saying true? I'm not sure. Nano, tell us about the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is reported to be a prehistoric sea creature living right here. Yes, that's her. There's nothing to worry about, Obeyed. It's just a legend. Now then, who would like to go fishing? Yes, me! I'd like to! <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go fishing in monster-infested water. You know what, guys? I think I'll stay here. It's probably a bit safer. Here, take these. You can look out for the monster. This too. <laughs> Blow this if you get into any trouble. It should help you out. Thank you. Okay, you three, follow me. We'll see you later, Obeyed. Hmm. Relax, Alum. There's no monster here. <laughs> I'm relaxed, really relaxed. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> huh? Uh, Help! I'm stuck! Hello? Hello? Mm. Aha! Oh, 
Nothing. If you ask me, I think we'll be here all day without a bite. Calm down, guys, one at a time. Mansoor? We saw the Loch Ness Monster! And so did I! Huh? <laughs> I can explain. Look! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind me tricking you boys. No cause for alarm. It's just a bit of fun for the tourists. I made it myself, actually. You really tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't be a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> sure you did, Sam. But I did sure see the did. real thing. Honest. No, Obeid. It's just make-believe. No, no. I'm not talking about the fake one over there where you guys were. I'm talking about the real Loch Ness Monster that was just over that way. Look! <laughs> That's a tree, Obeid. Yeah, the real monster was by it, I swear. And what was it like? Um... <laughs> quite friendly, actually. That's good news. So you won't mind coming back out fishing with us? Nope, I don't mind at all. With any luck, I might catch your monster, Obeid. Yeah, you wish. You'll need a bigger rod than that. Obey. can you see it? No, not at the moment. That's because it's not real. No, it's very real. I'll prove it to you guys. Watch. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> and tell us what's coming towards us. You got it, man, sir. <laughs> huh? It's only a log. <laughs> <laughs> That's your monster obeyed? <laughs> a log? No. Huh? Huh? Ah! This is my monster. Stand back. It could be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. What's happening? Nano, what exactly is it? It's okay. Don't be scared. It's just Nano. Unidentified and unknown species. There is nothing in my database. Oh, thank you, Nano. Y y y you mean tell me that th that thing is the real Loch Ness Monster? Yup. And I'm the one who found him. That looks like fun. That was a <laughs> yeah! Woohoo! 
Now do you believe me? I told you I saw the monster. Yes, you did, Obeyed. You did. No way! Whoa! You are not going to believe what just happened. And you're not going to believe what happened out there. <laughs> Catch anything? Mm. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh, -ho. all right then. Well, I'm sure you'll tell us when you're ready. I'm really sorry that we doubted you, Obeyed. Oh, no, it's okay. At least we believe you now. But who will believe us? Honestly, even I'm not sure if I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We're all spending too much time on these and missing a lot of beautiful moments. Here's what I suggest. We need to use them a little less and spend a lot more time in nature together. So we've booked a holiday to the Australian uh -huh. Outback. Care uh -huh. to join us, Obeyed and Solemn? Awesome! We all get to go to Australia? Yes, please! Thank you! When do we go? Next week, guys. When NASA goes on his college trip to London, it'll do all of us a lot of good. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> ah. Everyone, this is my good friend, Ranger Joe. Very Hello, nice Ranger to meet Joe. you. Nice We're to meet looking you. Looking forward to this. It's my pleasure. Good to have you. Welcome to Australia. I hope you will love it, because this is where you're going, the Dunga Dunga <gasps> Resort. <gasps> it's a five-star beauty. Believe me, you, it's great. You're going to love it. Does it have Wi-Fi? Does it have a nice restaurant? Of course it does. It has them all. Hey! Uh, but your dad thinks you three need a bit of rest from all of that. Your parents are going in that. And you three boys will be coming with me on those. Say what? I don't understand you. He means we're walking. We'll be walking. We gotta How long walk. will it take us to get where we're going? Um, uh, two hours. Uh, I guess that's not too bad. How long on foot? Uh, um, well, about three days. What? Wait, three Whoa. days? Uh, three days? Yes, if you walk fast. This will be a fantastic experience for you. And I assure you that you're in good hands. Ranger Joe knows the outback. Mm. Have a nice walk out there, guys. I'll be in the pool waiting for you. <laughs> Come on, boys. This is going to be an incredible experience. If incredibly awful is what you mean. Mm. 
Live in the moment and get into the rhythm and feel at one with nature. Look at those beautiful surroundings, boys. <sighs> so what, boys? Feeling the heat? The heat's very hot. Oh, how about a nice refreshing swim to cool off? Guys, is he teasing us? Of course not, Obeyed. Here, look. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Jump oh, yeah. in, fellas. It's actually great for swimming, you know. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey! Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Crocodiles? I'm sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. Crocodiles do not live in this lake, so you are quite safe. Aw, no reception. The bed isn't very comfy. I'm so hungry, you guys. Let's go. Keep up now. Please tell us another story, Ranger Joe. Okay, guys. I've got a story for you. One day there was a boy sitting by a fire in the outback. But he didn't realize there was a great big centipede walking up on a rock behind him, you know? <laughs> the giant centipede kept crawling and crawling and got nearer and nearer. But the boy just sat there and grinned. Huh? His friends pointed huh? toward him, but he thought they were just messing around. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. Very good acting, but you're not fooling me. Unbeknownst to them, the centipede crawled up the rock, was almost on his head when the brave ranger leaned forward and snatched it up. Ah! Ah, that almost crawled <laughs> on my head. What, what a, a great, great realistic, realistic story that was. was. All right now, bedtime, my adventurers. We'll go from here and follow the river here, then we'll take this fork. And by the afternoon, we should arrive at the resort where your Wi-Fi, soft beds, and fancy restaurants will be waiting for you. You two take this one, and we'll take this one. Got it now? It's pretty easy, and we'll get some great views, but listen up when we get there. Make sure you stay on the right-hand side. Do not take the left fork. Do you understand now? Why not? Wild Nelly. Who's Wild Nelly? It's a big and mean waterfall. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get going.
you hear that, Obeyed? Obeyed! I told you! Paddle this way as fast as you can! Obeyed! I'm battling, I'm battling, I'm battling! Can't you see me? I think they're gonna make it! But we're totally going to make it! They didn't make it, Mansoor. We totally didn't make it! Oh, this doesn't look good! What do we do now? We need to get over there fast. Throw them some rope and pull them in. Catch the rope! Uh. Oh. Oh. No, 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 I've got an idea! Bring me the rope! Throw me the rope over here! Uh. Grab this, you guys! Uh. Uh. Get out of here! Uh. In all my years of doing this, no one has ever actually gone down the left fork. You two deserve a medal. Uh, did you hear that, Solid? Hear that? We're gonna get a medal. <laughs> <laughs> what? So are we getting a medal or not? <laughs> well, boys, you're here. Finally, you got your Wi-Fi and your comfy beds and that fancy food awaits you. I think we might just stay out here a little while longer. Wi-Fi can totally wait. Yeah, who really needs comfy beds? That's right, and they probably don't even serve prickly pears. Thank you for an amazing experience, Ranger Joe. <laughs> You're very welcome, Ranger Mansoor.